Hey you guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Little Orpheus. This is going to be the second to last episode. We only have one more after this. Oh, they're great. This has been a great game. But this is the Pillars of the World. So in the last episode, we went back in time and uh, grabbed some glowing orbs off the ground. Not quite sure what they were or what they do. Let us recap. Three years ago, you were sent to Three the center years ago. of the Earth. Jesus. as part of a top secret mission to ensure the delivery of little orpheus an atomic powered capsule you promptly vanished until you casually wandered up to molodiozhnaya station three years later claiming to have saved the world but lost little orpheus in the process is this correct yes general it is but you are charged with many 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 crimes against the state including desertion lying to a superior officer and sedition any one of these charges bears the punishment of execution by firing squad <laughs> see i don't if i was deserting would i really come back and be like hey guys i saved the world general that was my fault i wasn't paying attention reasonable. i did my best it's all true i swear i swear upon the lives of my oh, family i didn't even oh, mean to jump on that Auntie Marsha and Uncle Vanya, the traveling tinker and the pig dentist, or perhaps Cousin Pavel, the criminal mastermind with the unhealthy taste for eggs. How stupid do you think I am, Comrade Devalov? Pretty stupid. Am I supposed to go down? Yep. See, I don't think clock should have gears laying on the ground. I think the gears should be in the clock itself. Uh, shit. <laughs> Oh, he's trying to crouch. Maybe your toy maker, or was it watchmaker, father, who apparently taught you all he knew, despite being killed when you were less than five years old. I was a fast learner. Damn, he's kind of got you. You have precisely one minute to convince me not to summon the guards and have you shot on the spot. A minute, a lifetime. It's all I need, General. A minute? We still got two episodes, bitch. That's at least forty, maybe an hour. A lot longer than one minute. I mean, we're in a lot better standing than we were last episode, because uh, at the end of last episode, he was pointing a gun at our head. So I would say we're doing better. I mean, he's not holding a gun to our head. So that's that's one one plus, right? As long as it stays that way. But we've been proven to be a liar, so I've said multiple times that I do think we are lying up the ass. Maybe we are, though. I don't know. If we're not, he's a great storyteller. Fantastic. I was astounded. My father, I told you, I, I think I told you, he, he was a, a toy maker, and he often he played with so. clockwork parts. Oh, but this, this made all those childhood wonders pale into insignificance. And it was fortunate indeed that my Pulling uncle, out. my uncle, Vanya, the big no, uh, my, my other uncle, my uncle, uh, Sasha, had taken me mountaineering in the Urals during my childhood, for it was only by scaling these giant mechanical parts that I would reach the north. Yes, I had been thinking that it seems awfully convenient that you were such an accomplished climber. I don't, however, recall yeah, I mean, any mention of this good. Uncle Sasha in your file. He was a very private man. He was man. a very unlikely man. That was Uncle Sasha's blessing and his curse. See, you're accusing me of a liar quite a lot, and quite frankly, I might be lying quite a lot, so it's probably fair. <clears throat> I, I'm not too, too upset about it, right? <laughs> I'm going to be a little upset if the ending of this game is just us lying about the whole thing. I mean, I'm... Kind of what it seems like is going to happen, but wouldn't make me any less upset. Because he is kind of just being proven time and time again to be a complete liar. So is there going to be any bad guys on this level or am I just climbing clocks and stuff? There's a lever. You leave her. Interact with the said lever. Okay, that was pretty pointless. I thought something 
cooler was going to happen. But I guess not. We're just going to spam control a little bit more and get launched into the air again. Into a cutscene. Nope, no cutscene. Never mind. So we're just going to be climbing to the top of the tower. Hey, he's still alive! Man. Okay, hold on. I tried to run. What am I supposed to do here? Ah. Okay. We're chilling. Just had to die twice, right? Only two times? That's not bad. Okay. Those great wheels and cogs clashed and boomed. The vast and hands smashed of all time, me. crunching forever and ever around. Ivan Ivanovich. Pendulums and springs okay, and I just went right through that. wheels and tiny little wheels. Privalov, stop. Uh, though at least the men were not here, especially as they seemed to infest the world below the surface. Mienkf, mienkf everywhere. Mienkf, mienkf, mienkf. Many mienkf. Mienkf plenty. Mienkf. You are a bambling, comrade. Enough. Hmm. What am I... Oh, okay, there's a rope right there. And... Jump! We're not getting crushed this time, bitch! Oh, lord, I didn't see that one. Uh... <laughs> getting a little, uh, worrisome right here. Stuff's getting intense. Gonna get my fucking balls smashed. Call that CBT. Cock and ball torture. I can make that. <laughs> I can make it, I can make it, I can make it. I didn't jump, I didn't jump! <laughs> you fucker. Where am I? Okay, I'm right here. I couldn't see. Oh god. Oh. But, but where was Toll? I'm assuming these are yep. Uh, high above. On the clock face, perhaps. With his I had plenty of time to go. Oh baby. If I could just reach him, I could use the bomb. There is the bomb. I mean you have no clearly there is. You have no idea about how to do anything one might actually expect of a cosmonaut. Bomb? Ivan Ivanovich! That's my name. <laughs> I mean, it was up probably about seven minutes ago, buddy, but... Am I just going to hear a gunshot and I'm just dead? <laughs> the time is up. I'm still... No. don't know what happens next. Of course I do. It is obvious. You've done very well. I applaud you for your efforts and your story. It is a wonderful tale, Comrade Brivalov. I have enjoyed it immensely. Clearly not, but since you're getting me Every story to execute. needs an ending. And it is clear... Oh, my God. Does not have one. That is not true. There is one chapter left. Bitch. So need more time. I guess who the dumb one is. I gave you all the time in the world, it would not be enough. That is no, not no, true. General, I, I can do this. That is, uh, I remember what happens next. I, 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 I just need to catch my breath and compose myself. We both know how this story ends, comrade. No. But little obvious, you haven't heard what happened. Oh, did I loop you in we now? Will find out soon enough. No, if you kill me, you're we'll not going to find out. And another expedition will be sent. No! No, you, you cannot. You cannot. We must never go back. You don't understand. Make me, then. 
Make me understand. I'm trying to, but you're gonna execute I me, bitch. I'm a kind man, although you may not believe this. I, I, I do not want to have you shot. So help me. That's a lie. Make me understand. Tell me what happened to little Orpheus. Hey, well, it happened like this. Exactly. That's what he's gonna say. It was Ivan Ivanovich. It was. See, you're not helping your case here, it man. Was... No. I'm sorry, General. I'm sorry, I have no idea. You are right. I simply cannot see what happened next. It's just a blank, General. Huh? There's nothing there. I am very tired, you see. Comrade Ivan. Ivan. You're right. It's over, General. Perhaps you would be so kind as to write to my mother for me. Of course I will. You are a kind man, as you have said. A and, General. Yes, Ivan. Was it a good story? Oh, yes. It was an excellent story. Thank you, General. I'm just sorry I couldn't give you an ending. Unless... General? Quiet, Tovarish. I am thinking. Unless... I, I seem to remember that there were many problems with little Orpheus during production. Is he trying to save him? Problems with the casing around the atomic battery. Uh, concerns. Concerns, General? Mm, yes, concerns. Unlikely though that might be. Yeah, it seems if I remember that it failed to secure properly. A sharp blow could spring the hatch and expose the fragile casing of the bomb to any would-be vandal. I'm not sure I follow you. A resourceful yet forgetful hero might, one would think, take advantage of that fact. But how, General? Where would I find something to strike it with? Mm, the son of a watchmaker would easily find something within a giant clock mechanism that resembled the hammer, surely. A hammer? Why, yes, General. I do remember now. I grasped the hammer-shaped thing on the bomb. Let's just agree it was a hammer, Ivan. Yes, of course. Let's do that. I recovered my senses, shook my head, and I'm looked so about. confused. In my distracted Jesus stupor, Christ. I had climbed further up the tower than I ever thought possible. In front of me was the clock face, and I gazed out through it at the sheer expense of history. And I knew whatever happened next happened next the hand of destiny had fallen upon your shoulder yes it had and what an extraordinary hand it was it better not end it okay <laughs> let's say we're not very far in it better not end this is a boss fight I wasn't uh, I wasn't prepared too slow you big ugly man you suck balls god damn see if you would use your brain you'd shoot the one in front of me and then I would have nothing to do now isn't that right see you're just you're just really dumb You're just really dumb as I smack my head and fall. Oh, oh I'm stuck. Hold on. Time out. Time out. <laughs> God, dude, you just you just really suck. Did you just pre-fire a little bit? Yeah, you just keep on trying, bud. 
it's embarrassing. Am I just running in circles or like what's uh, oh god? What's going on here? Oh shit. We'll get there sooner or later. What? What was I supposed to do? I'm so confused. What? My God, we're good. We and just so fucked that shit up, huh? Tor was defeated. Little Orpheus destroyed the bomb, lost forever. N not just that, General. In that moment, time sprung back to its proper shape, and I found myself once more in Plutonia, as the start of my journey. But the wound in the Imperial sky was gone. The drill was gone. As if I had never been here. And they were meant free and happy without the tyranny T Rex pets. Oh, free to pursue their simple lives. But we can never go back. Never, General. One drill, one metal sphere, one lone cosmonaut was nearly enough to destroy time and unleash the tyrant toll upon our world. Who would think an innocuous beeping radio housed in a ball of metal could change the world so dramatically? Who indeed? But tell me, what of you? And what of your return to the surface? I stayed amongst the Mienf for as long as I could. But I came to realize they had begun to worship me as a king. No, General. I am a good socialist and could not allow this workers' paradise to become corrupted. And so I left that wonderful land for the last time. And then? And then I walked. For two years I wandered, always looking for a way home. Through lands and worlds almost beyond imagination. Until one day, I emerged, blinking into sunlight, and realized I was home. Until one day, I emerged just like that? You just found your way back to the surface? Well, General, it was a little more complicated than that. Great obstacles to overcome and terrible challenges to face and incredible lands to explore. Enough, Ivan. Little Orpheus is lost forever. The interior is sealed. You have returned with a story of socialism, triumphing over incredible odds. It is, as I said, enough for one night. Enough for my report, at least. Uh, General, if I may... Comrade Ivan Ivanovich Privalov. You are found guilty of all charges brought against you and sentenced to execution by firing squad. However, <laughs> having listened to your story, I believe you are quite mad. In other words, <laughs> I find your madness guilty, not you. And we cannot execute madness. And indeed, there are lessons to be learned, even in the depths of this madness. Perhaps the Americans were right to send the chimp after all. So, General? Get out of my sight, Ivan. Go home. Hmm? Enjoy a state pension as a madman. Just make sure I never see you again. Yes, General. Of course, General. Anything you say. I shall be small and quiet and live a life without excitement and... Out! <gasps> <laughs> Until one day I just emerged. Oh, ho, ho, ho. very good, Tararis. Very good indeed. Oh, I'm. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? I'm so confused. Well, okay. <laughs> That was a uh, little Orpheus at number uh, seven, I think. Episode number seven. Uh, 
that that was that was quite the episode i'm very confused on what just happened what is going on i don't know but i guess we'll have to find out in the next episode at what this man's gonna do to me but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and if not then please tell me in the comments but other than that i will see you guys in the last episode of my little orpheus Hella guilt delicious, looking so delicious. Mm. Still get vicious, guilt for guilt delicious.